Hi there, welcome back. Adding borders is a very common task in video editing. And DaVinci Resolve has a colored border fusion effect in the effects panel. Add it to the clip. And we have a white border added to the image. The border style can be changed with these parameters in the inspector. Very simple and easy to use. But here is the problem. If we change the image size, or rotate the image, the border will not follow the image. There are a few ways to work around this. The first one is to convert the clip to a compound clip, and then transform the image however we want. The border is now part of the clip. We can also add a shadow effect if needed. But if we need to change the border styles, we have to open the compound clip in the timeline, and switch to the effects tab to modify the settings. And then come back to the main timeline. This is a bit of a hassle in my opinion. The second approach is to add the OpenFX transform effect. Go to the OpenFX filters folder in the expects panel, drag the transform effect to the clip. We now have two effects applied to the clip, one is the fusion colored border, and the other one is the transform effect. We can use these transform settings here to change the image style. If we want to change the border settings, we simply switch to fusion effect and make the adjustments. This way we always work on the same clip, no need to switch back and forth. It has interactive modes to transform the clip in the viewer, which is very cool. But there are no on-screen controls for the basic transformation, like changing the position, size and rotations. Which is the drawback using this method? Now coming to the third option, we will modify the fusion colored border effect to include the both transform and shadow settings. Click this little fusion icon to open the effect in the fusion page. Drag the transform node from the toolbar, release the button when the line is highlighted. The transform node is now inserted automatically after the colored border effect. With the transform node selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a drop shadow node. Select all the nodes except media out. Right click and choose macro, create macro. Enter a name for your macro. Select all the parameters from the colored border node. Check the basic transformation parameters from the transform node. And the shadow settings. Choose the save as group in the option menu. Save the macro to the effect template folder. Close the macro editor, go back to the edit page. In the effect panel, the new effect template is now ready for use. You may need to restart the DaVinci Resolve if it's not there yet. Drag and apply the new border template to the clip. A white border is added to the image. Enable the fusion overlay. We can now change the image size, rotate the image, or move the image directly in the viewer with these on-screen controls. We can go to the Effects tab to change the border style or other settings. For example, round the corner. Change the color. Flip the image. Or change the shadow. I also created an essential border template that you can download from the link below. The parameters are organized and it has more settings which allows us to change the border color type and change the shadow colors. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.